is Jesus Manuel Menagarza for RV and Travel Adventures in Fort Worth, Texas. Uh, as you all very well know, I've ordered an RV from uh, Juan RV in Shipshawana, uh, Indiana. I suppose you get it in August. Hopefully not September. Hopefully not October. Definitely not November or December. Okay. So I've been trying to get a hold of Anthony Yoder, uh, the Yoder clan. Who's been, they, the family works at, uh, at uh, Flagstaff Rockwood. For, for generations and I think his brother works there his father worked there and they also own businesses in Shipshawana where Flagstaff uh, Rockwood is located they own the hardware store if I remember correctly one of the family members somebody with a name Yoder 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 it's everywhere in Shipshawana Indiana I tried to get a hold of him today and uh, last couple days and he finally got back and he says hey Jesus we cannot give you more information about this to, uh, you know, the Rockwood or Flagstaff products. Those are specifically for the dealerships. You're out of the loop now. Sorry, Buster. So I'm very disappointed by that action. I was hoping to get a build a sheet, but I got the bill sheet anyway from the, where I'm buying it, Wana RV. They gave me the bill sheet. They're very friendly folks down there. They're very open. And so they, this is the new bill sheet as of today, July 6th, 2021. So here's the July 2021 uh, revisions. According to a little sheet I got here, okay. They changed the cabinetry. They have a new uh, cabinetry called New Autumn Wood. Wow, New Autumn Wood. That sounds exciting. I wonder what tone of brown it is. <laughs> is it tan? Is it light? Is it dark? Is it a reddish? It's a wood tone, of course. And they also are going to continue with the Newport Ash. I ordered my uh, travel tray with Newport Ash. They also uh, standardize uh, certain items. Of course, I paid for all these items. They paid a little premium, 100 bucks here, 200 bucks there, 300 bucks there for all these odds and endsies. So the night roller shades are now standard, even though I paid for them. They're now standard. Uh, they deleted the la ladder bike rack option. I guess uh, having a bike rack, with, especially with some of these heavy bikes people have nowadays, some of these uh, electric bikes, you know, can weigh 80 pounds. And if you have two of those on there, it can seriously cause issues and liability issues for the people who make those ladders and the RVs. And uh, having going down the highway at 60 miles an hour and your bike falling off and bumping into some unsuspecting uh, motorist wouldn't be a pruned idea wouldn't be great okay sort of would ruin their day wouldn't it okay so that they deleted the ladder bike rack option and they upgraded the lavatory faucet wow i'm really excited by that i wonder what you know what's what it's going to look at is it going to be darker is it going to be lighter is it going to be still made out of plastic or this maybe it's actually going to be made out of bronze or brass that would be nice that would be super nice no way jose and they uh, deleted the freestanding table and chair option. So the, you know, the, what do you call it? Everybody's ordering on my pet guest with the uh, lounge chairs, those recliners. I ordered mine with the lounge chairs. I made sure I wanted the lounge chairs. Maybe they'll have some sort of other, uh, you know, dinette or something else out there. But the uh, lounge chairs, the recliners are super, super, super popular and excellent, okay? They also delighted, deleted, delighted, deleted the uh, sliding tray option. In the past through storage, they had this Lippard or Morai slide that you can slide in, slide out this tray and put stuff on. They deleted that. You can always add it on. It's an option you can get from the folks at Morai and Lippard. They sell, or you can make your own little slide in, slide out little tray, okay? Just saying, you can do it. Can you do it? I'm gonna try it, maybe, maybe, maybe not, who knows? And they're adding, this is something I would have desperately wanted. I sent, in fact, I sent my uh, an email to the folks at Wana RV asking them, can I add the second 190 watt solar panel option? Uh, can I add that on now? They'll probably say, uh, no, Jesus, I'm sorry. Uh, you're stuck where you're at. You, you ordered it several months ago and the new one that's coming in is gonna come with all the stuff that you ordered and paid for extra. Uh, now, you know, standard. What can you do? And the uh, second solar panel is, uh, you know, you're not going to be able to get that. But we'll soon find out. I'm hoping the folks at WANA are flexible and are nice and, you know, can help me out. You know, 
They're making thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars on this transaction. Why can't they be a little nice and just help me out with a solar panel? You know, I'll pay for what it costs as long as it's not over 190 bucks because you can buy a solar panel, a 190 watt solar panel for about a dollar a watt. So they sell for like 185, 190. You can buy them, you know, everywhere for that price point. But if they're going to charge me three, four, five hundred bucks for this, one panel. I think that's a little ridiculous. But we'll soon find out, huh? They'll tell me in a couple of days, hopefully. And the 12 volt fridge with solar now standard and the gas electric is now optional. Again, something I paid for extra is now standard and we'll see. <laughs> what can you do? You try your best to order something and they change it. Uh, change it midstream, huh? So this has been a Susma Noid Managaras. I hope you like this little report of the changes for 2022 for the uh, mini lights and the micro lights, the Flagstaff micro lights and the Rockwood mini lights. Uh, you know, things change, evolve. From Fort Worth, Texas, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much ahead of time. Again, thank you very much. This channel is growing incrementally. It's a very slow channel. You know, it's, it's just growing slowly. And uh, But I appreciate it. This is my hobby. I'm not, I don't plan to make a, a zillion bucks and support myself uh, with the revenue from this channel. Okay. Also, please leave your kind and super friendly comments uh, below. I look at your comments. I check out your comments and I re respond to your comments and uh, I appreciate them. Thank you again very, very much. From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Jesus Manuel Menegarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.